Hi students, welcome all. Today we are going to see term 1, chapter 1. The lesson name is measurement. Do you know what you mean by measurement? Measurement means we measure something, right? When you go to a textile shop, when you want to buy a cloth in material, you tell the measurement. They measure it in a cloth, they cut it and they will give you. When you go to a tailor shop, when you want to stitch the cloth, they measure your body measurement and they stitch the cloth that fits you. Okay, how they are all doing this? Exactly how they are measure it? They measure it in a length. Now let's see about length. Length is the distance between one end and the other end. What is this one end and other end? Now you have a pencil. You want to measure this length. So using your scale, you will measure it. It starts from 0 and ends in 15. From one end till another end. So the total length is 15 cm. When you measure football ground, from one end till another end, you will measure a length. Likewise, when you go to a textile shop for a cloth, using a tape, you will measure the length in a meter. For one one thing, you will use a different unit. Here for pencil, we are using centimeter. Here for cloth, we are using a meter. Now let's see what are these units and in length there are 7 units are there. Now let's see about that. These are the units. MM means millimeter, CM means centimeter, DM is decimeter, M meter, DAM decameter, HM hectometer, KM kilometer. These are the seven units. Here commonly we use millimeter and centimeter. Here meter and kilometer. This millimeter and centimeter we use for very small distance like for measuring a book, table or something which is less meter which is greater than millimeter and centimeter. For example, in a textile shop they measure the cloth or to measure the height of a building or to measure the lamp post length. They use meters. For kilometer, kilometer is used to find the distance between two cities. So this is city A, this is city B. So what is their distance? Or from your home to school, what is the distance? Or between two village, they use kilometer to find a distance. Nowadays they are using a odometer. Odometer is a device indicating a distance to find in automobiles. Normally, they used to say 1 cm is equal to 10 mm. This centimeter and millimeter are there in your scale, normal scale. So, when you take this and see, this is 0, this is 1 cm, then 2 cm. Likewise, it goes up to 15 centimeter. See, take this 1 centimeter and when you count this line, there will be 10 line in it. The smaller lines is nothing but a millimeter. When you count this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, 10 lines are there to make a centimeter. So, what are those 10 lines? They are nothing but a millimeter. So 10 lines are millimeter to form a 1 centimeter. Likewise, 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter. When you take a meter scale and see 1 meter from 0 to 1 meter, there will be 100 lines will be there. Those 100 lines are nothing but a centimeter. So to form a 1 meter, there will be a 100 centimeter lines. 
likewise for 1 km is equal to 1000 meter so you have to always remember this thing now let us see how to convert from one unit to another unit let's see now remember this order here millimeter is the very smallest and here kilometer is the very greatest so millimeter is smaller next bigger is centimeter next one is decimeter is bigger next meter is big next decameter is big then hectometer is big at last kilometer is the very biggest when you go this wise this is big this is small compared to this this is small compared to this okay now let's see here kilometer what is this symbol greater than so kilometer when the meter order pairs kilometer is greater than meter meter is greater than centimeter centimeter avida meter pairs and centimeter is greater than millimeter millimeter avida greater than centimeter okay remember this order now we are going to convert 7 meter into centimeter 7 meter into centimeter what you have to do is for one one step you have to multiply by 10 from meter to decimeter multiply by 10 from decimeter to centimeter multiply by 10 so totally 10 into 10 100 so multiply this 100 with 7 so 7 into 100 which is equal to 700 centimeter now see we have learnt 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter see here 1 meter meter is here centimeter is here from meter to decimeter multiply by 10 from decimeter to centimeter multiply by 10 so totally 2 tens 10 into 10 100 so 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter now let's see another conversion convert 45 kilometer into meter now take this unit alone kilometer and meter from kilometer we have to go to meter so from kilometer to hectometer multiply by 10 from hectometer to decameter multiply by 10 from decameter to meter multiply by 10 so from kilometer to meter we have reached so how many tens are there three tens so 10 into 10 into 10 1000 so multiply this 1000 with 45 so 45 into 1000 45000 so 45000 meter another one 45 kilometer into centimeter from kilometer we have to go to centimeter from kilometer to hectometer 10 from hectometer to decameter 10 from decameter to meter 10 from meter to decimeter 10 from decimeter to centimeter 10 multiply this with 45 so 45 into 5 zeros so we get the answer 3 4 5 centimeter okay try practicing more problems which is given in your book because in this level this is somewhat tough for you when you practice you may get it but when you go to next level like 7th 8th the problems is going to be tough and you want to remember this basic concepts so learn it well now itself okay students i hope you understand the concept well if you have any doubt or clarification please do comment in next video we can see another topic thank you for watching